Okay, it is Tuesday? Yeah. I'm having a hard time getting track of days. Um, it's the fourth day of protests. Uh, Thursday was the first day. Friday was the second day. Yesterday was the third day. Today marks the fourth day of protesting. Um, things are a little heated. Uh, I'm uh, I'm here a little bit late. I swung by Starbucks and I answered some emails from students who are like, I have late work. Uh, that plane is a lot closer than they usually are. Um, the student was like, I have late work. Um, we accept it. And I was like, Yeah, that's fine. Just send me pictures. And so I created some papers through email. Um, a different student is like, I don't want to fill the class. Can you? Uh, can, what can we do about that? The student emailed me and was like, Can we? Uh, I don't want to fill the class. Can we figure something out? I was like, yeah, so I'm going to meet her tomorrow at a Starbucks and uh, just go over things that the kid needs to get done and get stuff made up and we'll get the grade up. So there's one kind of silver lining to this whole thing. But uh, everybody's leaving because it's late in the afternoon. Let's see uh, who's left when I get there. I finally got one of these cool t-shirts, so I'm going to swap it in right now. Let's see here, I'll set you guys down. I hope these don't shrink too much. <laughs> Should have gotten maybe an XL. <laughs> I'm sure you can give it to me. No, no, it's fine. It'll work. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Here we go. Alright. That was a quick pop in, grab the shirt, said hello to some colleagues, and now I'm on my way home. Um, actually, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop at a different shirt shop because, uh, they didn't have a size small enough for Irene, so I'm gonna try and see if they have like a, like a kid size. If they don't, it's got like an extra small. They're voting on a budget today. Um, it's not a, it's not a very good budget in my opinion. It increases teacher pay, but it takes, it takes away from others. Um, I'm not really okay with that. It's not what teaching's really about. Um, and it's, uh, it's really frustrating. That's for sure. Here we are. So the vote should be cast pretty soon here. Um, potentially it might go all night. And so we have a team of teachers. I'm not part of that crew because they have little kids, but uh, they got a team of teachers who are gonna be here overnight um, and, until they vote basically. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I just got an email saying that uh, basically teachers are due back on Thursday, which is two days from now. So I'll probably be back here tomorrow. That's my update today. Very low key day. Let's uh, move right ahead and go forward now. I am back home. Um, it's Wednesday today, and we've got our shirts. Yay! Yeah, Kim picked these up yesterday. I don't remember where I left off yesterday. I do remember I did not film as much as I should have, but. Um, There's a lot that didn't get filmed. That's okay. It's been a very eventful week. Um, <laughs> It's hard, to, it's hard to film when you're marching around, but uh, point is is that today they are marching on the Capitol again because we're concerned the budget might not get signed. There's also a lot of concerns about this budget not really being sustainable. Um, it's and not it, it's, really perfect. It's, it's an improvement. There's, there's a lot of problems with it. Yeah. We're pretty sure it's going to get struck down in court um, because they're trying to do something with uh, Tucson Unified School District, which they've tried in the past, and the Supreme Court said... You can't do that. And like when they were talking and going over the budget, one of the people was like, or one of the uh, legislatures was like, this seems very similar to what you were doing before. And the guy. We got sued for it. Yeah, and we lost. And the guy was like, it's similar, but different. And I was like, oh, that doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. Point is, is that we're, there's still active protests. But my school district has said that as long as the budget gets passed, and leadership has said for the movement has said as long as the budget gets passed today, um, everybody should return tomorrow um, to be with students. Thursday. Thursday. I think this video is going to go up today when we're filming this exit, but... Possibly. Thursday. But Thursday. Yeah. Um, today, instead of going to the Capitol, though, I got a couple emails from students saying, we have missing work, we have late work. We Did you get tell that them that in. you went in on Friday? I don't remember if I told He didn't them. go into work because it was closed, but he, right. he did tutoring on yeah, Friday I did for tutoring all the on students Friday. that are feeling like they're kind of behind. Um, and I have at least one student like, uh, I really don't, I, I don't want to take this over summer, so let's, uh, can we figure something? I was like, yeah, we got, we got time, come on in. So I'm meeting that student at a Starbucks, and uh, we're just going to work on missing stuff, get some tutoring done, and hopefully that student will get passed, and we'll be good to go. Um, but 
instead of going to the march, I'm doing that instead. So that's so my long, plan today. Long story short, hopefully it will get past today. We, we think that it will. It should, yeah. Teachers are going back to school, at least in your district, tomorrow. Most likely, yes. The bill is not perfect. No. It's an improvement. This is step one. It's we, step one, and there will still be other stuff moving forward, right. but it's a lot more progress than I thought you guys were Yeah, no, we so got we got some finances, which was more than we had three weeks ago. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, you know, it's a step in the right direction. So. Good morning. Who's that guy? That guy. You don't recognize me, I bet. It's because I cut my hair and I shaved, and so I don't look like a, like the haggard teacher anymore. <laughs> I cleaned up a bit. Um, I am here again at the Capitol. This is day six. I am I'm later than I, I was planning on being here, um, but that's okay um, because some people are leaving, and I got a good spot now, and uh, that's that's the name of the game with me. Um, and someone pop in to see what thing, how things are going. Here's what I know so far. Um, one, it is day six. Um, I'm actually supposed to be at work today. I was supposed to be at work because uh, two days ago we were promised that the budget was going to go through. They are going to vote on it. The governor was going to sign it. We'd be good to go. And then late last night, they started dragging things out, and things started taking forever, and they, it started to look like this budget wasn't going to pass, and senators and legislators were just vetoing things left and right, or not vetoing, but like trying to modify things left and right, were wanting to vote on the budget, and so um, that led to some complications, and my understanding is there's a whole crew of teachers here that were like overnight, stayed like throughout the night, and it's, I, I think some of them are heading out, so I'm, the, I'm the, the next wave to come in and help fill in the spots here. Um, so yeah, but early this morning, um, and it is it's Thursday, May 3rd, and early this morning at like 6 in the morning or something, uh, the governor finally signed a budget kind of it's a partial budget so the entire thing has not been signed but part of it has and so there is going to be a definitive race for teachers um it's still not the best to go ever but it's better than what we had and so we're gonna take it um and that's that's my understanding so we should be back at work tomorrow which i'm really excited about i'm actually really ready to get back to work miss my students and uh i just want to get back to teaching <laughs> doing, doing what i do best kid getting kids to like you know understand how math works uh, but let's go let's go see how things are going as they wind down Ooh. all right and let's you know I would expect that things would wind down a bit they have not look I saw a whole flood of people leaving and there is a whole flood of people leaving they're all calling it a day I think but even still, there's like a there's a rather large number of individuals here still. So. Oh man, that's crazy. Hey, okay, there we go. It is, there is a more full today than it was yesterday. Oh man, there are a lot of people here. All right, let's go see if I can find my crew. We'll just meet up and say hi. I get some water. I'm thirsty. Just ran to a friend from Tucson and just looking around here. There are people all over the place. They're lying in their halls there, all over the place. They've got uh, some sort of concert thing going. I guess today's National Day of Prayer. And I still cannot find my crew because the concert is set up what we set up yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. I still can't find my uh, crew. I don't know where they're at. I hope they have a tent today. Maybe I'm just wandering around for no reason. Oh, geez. Sorry. No, you're, you're good. I found them, but they found me. Somebody, one of my coworkers, right here. Hi. Hey. She's like, hey, hey, we're over here. Oh, here we are. Okay. Hey, there's everyone. Okay. I found my crew. Hello. We got my whole crew here. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. I'm back. I'm back with my main crew, so everything is okay now. All right. So happy I found my crew. I am uh, going to. I found a different teacher that was by himself, and he was just hanging out with some other people there. So I'm gonna go over to him and let him know that I found the the main crew for my school. <laughs> like, if you want to come join us, you're welcome. We have a tent. <laughs> All right. I see him standing up. 
let's see here if he wants to come join us or not. I found them. Are they? They're, you want you want to come with me? You guys packing up? All right, we're, they're gonna come with me. We're gonna... So I got a couple more of my coworkers, and we're gonna go walk around the tent and go explore. Want to say hi? Holly, want to say hi? Holly, say hi. Hello. Okay. Oh. There are uh, drums happening over here, so we're gonna go investigate. It's not like war drums, which I mean is fitting considering we're all wearing red right now. That was so gingerly. paperwork, signing ballots, it is important to be educated in what you sign. And so I read through everything that I sign, just at least glance through it so I know what I'm signing for. Uh, and just check to see if I agree with it. Um, which this one in particular I do agree with. So I'm taking pictures for you. I am the official photographer for this. I have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> Who are we taking a picture of? Oh, okay, the guy running for superintendent. All right, let's do it. Okay. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Let's get the camera in the background. Well, I'm not, oh, wait, okay. me, me too, bro. Is that what you want to oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? What are you ready for? I'm running for state school superintendent. Against Diane Douglas. Alright. To lead the education system in Arizona. Okay, let's do it. State of Arizona, 1912. Tremendous amount of history in this building. Um, I did not know that this was like a museum situation. <laughs> I thought they like conducted official business here, but I guess this is the state capital, so they have they have offices here, but they also have that like, kind of museum setting, so you can come visit. I was like, I need to take the kids here. This is great. Just teach them about their state a little bit. This is cool. This is a flag. Arizona made of Legos. Oh my gosh, look it. It's made of Legos. Why aren't they looking? I uh, stated my goal is to get footage from the very top of the building. I'm trying to do a panoramic shot, so let's, let's try and pull that off here. All right, let's go to this third level here. And there is our seal again with our awesome chandelier and quite a bit of glare. Can I just take the elevator? Because it's out of service. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's easier to go down than it is going. Okay. Found the correct spot. Let's try and take a look here. Ooh. I imagine that was much more crowded earlier today because a lot of people are leaving, but still, that's a nice sea of red. That's cool. Super Court of Arizona State. This is pretty neat. I'm glad I did this. This is lovely. Very vintage lighting. Very cool. Very cool stuff. I am spent, I think. I got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so I'm going to go meet up with my crew. I think we're going to go grab some food together. And then we'll call it. I'm going to go to my classroom and start prepping for tomorrow. I'm real excited that we're going to head back. That was a fun excursion. Um, been in that building already. The, the house. And uh... I don't feel like waiting in line again. It's, it's longer than it was before. So, all the way over there. So instead, uh, I go meet up with Cokers and get some nom noms and hydration. I'm dehydrated. 